So let's discuss a scenario. Uh, there is uh, sample data um, where we have source IDs and few of the uh, features, and there is a rank. And uh, out of some reason, uh, you need to see what is the maximum of this rank column. So usually uh, in big data scenarios, you will get scenarios what is the uh, maximum rank for a couple of group. Then the aggregate max function will come into play like uh, for account, let's say there is another uh, account one here. So uh, grouping on uh, an account then what is the maximum that is usually the people get uh, sort of scenario but what if there is no such um, explicit uh, thing given to you but you just need to uh, find a max of this rank whatever is the max as of now we can see uh, 11 15 uh, 2000 is the uh, max of this column so uh, for this how can you uh, only if this is the requirement how can you uh, get this result in the very optimal way one uh, straightforward way is uh, to take the max of rank column right uh, i have copied the same data in a csv format here here it is so it's the same data where uh, 2000 uh, seems to be the maximum to do multiple queries i'll put a breakpoint so there you can see uh, let me read it it's now at this so input data dot show gives us the data so we are sure like it's reading properly now uh, as we discussed uh, I just need to get the max of rank and it is very simple uh, if you go straight away you just need to do uh, dot select of rank and in place of just rank you can do column of this and the max of this. right so you can see we are getting uh, the max of rank right another way of showing this then I also i will show you what what difference does it make in actual spark uh, data processing let me uh, copy this and uh, keep aside so the difference between this and another function that i am showing you is describe of which column rank the same which we were talking evaluate and there you can see we got a lot of information on top of this on top of rank we got a summary and uh, of this rank column the count of it the mean standard deviation minimum and max now um, you can see max uh, matches our requirement so uh, we could uh, this is also a data frame as you can see i did a show so from here as well you can uh, take dot select of uh, summary um, dot select of rank where summary is max so uh, obviously like uh, same result you will get but what is the benefit of using this over uh, what we let me copy this as well so what is the benefit of using this and this let's see uh, let me do this and do uh, in place of this i'll do uh, explain which actually shows the query plan of for uh, the um, process or the function that we are call calling on that data frame so do evaluate and you can see physical plan first the file is read and uh, the function is called then there is an exchange obviously because we are doing a max and max of that may be uh, uh, the uh, values will be distributed on different executors so there will be an exchange and finally you will get the result now uh, let me call this mm, let me call till here and then we'll have to call and explain and there you see 
this is the physical plan for it only the tables can so uh, spark automatically stores uh, some of the metadata of uh, the data that it is reading like min max standard deviation count so uh, that was my suggestion in case you need uh, only the overall values something like max of any column uh, anyways if it is uh, grouping or a window function over which you want to uh, see a max over a window or uh, some grouped columns then it is another scenario but if it is overall spark already has uh, uh, metadata created uh, for you so you can use that and uh, you can um, enhance your performance and uh, not only uh, describe uh, you also have uh, many other functions like uh, summary and let's see some summary dot show what does it give us and you can see it's uh, giving us a lot of things again uh, the count mean standard deviation and it is also giving us the uh, percentile and that also for each of the column you can see right and uh, there are multiple uh, argument that it accepts so uh, it uh, you can uh, like for rank if you just want the rank you can pass rank and uh, let's say source id and you just uh, want this for uh, these two you can i missed it uh, you have to pass this in select and uh, there if you pass this and then do a summary it will give you value for only those so these are basically the functions that are mostly used by data scientists not by data engineers for uh, most of the exploratory uh, for uh, more of a exploratory data analysis um, where they need all these uh, values we on the heavy processing side of data engineers uh, don't mostly use it but on and off uh, if you need such kind of uh, results you can consider using them and also if you are using PySpark, there will be many more uh, functions like describe, summary and all. Um, uh, there are many more functions that you can utilize which are not uh, uh, straight away in Spark along with Scala. So for this combination, I hope, uh, so for this combination Spark with Scala, uh, these are the a uh, few uh, things that uh, so for this combination spark with scala uh, these two are the very important function that you can use and that are uh, very lightweight and will help you in getting these uh, basic results you don't need to shuffle your data across your cluster so i hope you liked this uh, if you really did please hit that like button and uh, please subscribe to gk code labs if you have not already done thank you guys see you later mm -hmm.